today we are going to do a little DIY or a um, little charm or whatever you want to call it. It's actually called a brochure pin and it's meant to um, it's meant to be worn or put on a piece of clothing, a bag, a mojo bag, um, really anything you can think of that a safety pin can go in. That's what a brochure pin can be hooked onto. There will be a, a little spell or ritual at the end. Um, I do not take credit. It is actually from Silver Raven Wolf. Um, and a lot of this history information is also from her. So a safety pin worn on the left sleeve is um, for protection or it could be worn over your heart for wishes or on your sternum for high sales and a pleasant busy day. Um, a large pin, all I have is small pins, but a large pin um, with little pins dangled underneath of it. Um, each one can stand for a wish and you can make a wish on each pin. Um, safety pins were invented in Greece in the 14th century BC but they were forgotten and in 1849, Walter Hunt invented the safety pin again with a brass wire and sold the patent for $400. That's how long ago it was. Now, ways to use the brochureite pins would be to make a talisman of pins, uh, pin together, and tie colored ribbons to each pin, which is what I'm going to be working on as I'm talking to you. And then you could put like a larger pin at the end or something of the sort. And you can make the ribbons color to your intention. Um, the pins can also be used to count chants if you're chanting or praying. They could be used kind of like a rosary and counting. Um, or you could use um, safety pins in a circle, like so, and put um, a candle in the middle and, you know, connect them, of course. And you can put the candle in the middle and sprinkle some salt or herbs or whatever you want. Mm. And you can charge silver pins in the moon and gold pins in the sun. So to enchant the pins, you're going to want to cleanse, consecrate, and bless the pins. To cleanse, you're going to soak it in blessed salt or herbal water salt or herbal water for nine minutes and then dry it. Here's what it's looking like so far. And next you're going to consecrate it. So prayer or chant while holding the pin in the east. And she says it's best to do at sunrise. You can use your own, or there's one um, that I got from her blog for you guys to use if you want. Now here's the chant. Eastwards I stand, for favors I pray, from Goddess Divine and Lord of the Day. Earth lends her power, and breath sends the spell, day's end will reveal that all will be well. I think that's awesome. 
and then you're gonna blow on the pin three times bottom to top bottom to top so you're blowing over top of it to you know release the spell um, and then make an equal armed cross over the pin to seal in the magic so I guess something like this over top mm. And then step three is to bless it. So call in powers of the deity or ancestor, totem animal, angels, elements, whoever you want to help you bless it. And then, then you are going to blend the pin's will to yours. So um, this is called awakening the tool. And... you're gonna she says to add behavior or emotion to the object um, I'm not really sure about this because I don't practice this but um, she says the naming the pins gives a personality and the object must have the thought of intent that you want um, banish or attract or whatever it is your intent is so basically imbue the pin with your intent and she says to hold the pin on your chest and visualize what you want then see white light around you or you can do a physical mantra uh, which is like rolling small objects in your palm a number of times like three or six or whatever number is important to you and now you are ready to use it so you can use it on a mojo bag like I said or a conjure bag or in a meditation or in a larger ritual or you know on your handbag if you don't want to do anything else bigger to it, just use it on your handbag or on a piece of clothing, anything really that's going to remind you of your intent and work with the law of attraction to bring it to you. So then she says you must feed the bag. So for this you can use uh, some kind of liquor, um, a holy water, a perfume, or bodily fluids such as you know, saliva, blood, or, you know, use your imagination. Okay? Now, these things you see in front of you are ones that I put together as an example. Um, this pink one is for love has a little crocheted heart attached to it along with some pink and red beads and a little spell bottle with rose quartz, crystal quartz, and some bamboo coral coral, coral, whatever but you could put anything in that bottle really or not use a bottle at all you could put some flowers or um, just the beads whatever says love to you or whatever you have on hand it's just pink and red are our love to me so that's what I used um, this blue one is to call it rain blue and clear crystals 
for beads and then blue yarn um, the red one is red and green beads and a red string for healing This black one, black and white one, is to um, protect me, drive away negative energy, and leave peace. Black and white. And I tied knots three times on either side. Just because three is a magical number for me. And here's the love one that I was telling you about. I crocheted a heart. And here's the crystals. And then here's one that's for, um, I guess, opening doors or, you know, success along those lines. I just think this one's so cute. A little key, the silver and gold beads, and tan colored yarn. Okay, so now this is better done with bigger. Um, bigger pins for this one obviously the bows are probably bigger than the pins but I tried okay so once I get this straightened out we are going to add like a charm or something there and then you can add like this one's like for success abundance so maybe I'll put the door opening success pin on here as well and if you want this to be for someone else, you can add their name on a piece of paper or something and pin it to the top. There we go. It's cute, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this Browsure pin video. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and remember, be blessed, be brave, and be beautiful, and I will see you next time.